What are 10 things buyers will hate about your house? You don't want them to hate anything when you're trying to sell it. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Silicon Valley, and I specialize in selling homes that are in trust and probate. So typically that means someone's passed away and another loved one needs to sell it. About 75% of my business comes from those kind of sales. The other 25% is just regular buyers and sellers in Silicon Valley. I do these weekly videos to provide information. Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like any of my videos. So back to today's topic, 10 things that buyers will hate about your house. Again, we don't want them to hate anything when they walk so in. So let's start with number one, dark. Buyers hate walking into houses that feel dark. I hear the comments. We walk in, they're like, oh, is there any light in here? Um, should we open up the blinds or something? And it, it's just an uncomfortable feeling. Doesn't make a buyer feel good as they're entering your house. So let's think about what you can do to minimize that make sure all the blinds are open no curtains are closed um, make sure the bushes are trimmed outside of windows trees and bushes let some light in and if you can let's put in some can lighting beforehand let's make it feel as bright as possible when someone walks in your house number two personal paint colors so you've loved your house, you've made it your home, and you might have a really dark red wall in your dining room, or maybe an orangish yellow color in your family room, and maybe your bedroom has kind of a deep green or something, and, those, and you love it. That's your house. Unfortunately, not all buyers share your same taste in color palettes, so we want to keep it neutral. Right now in 2019, light gray is a very popular color. Can't go wrong with a taupe, light beige, cream. Don't do white, that's too sterile. But let's neutralize the wall. Number three, too much clutter and personalization. So let's say you love Asian art and you've got this fabulous artwork all over your house or you like African art and it's all over. Um, that's a personal taste. We don't want to, if someone doesn't really share that style of decor, let's get a lot of that out. Again, it's like the paint colors, let's keep it neutral. Let's say you love to read and you've got shelves and shelves of books. And then you have another cabinet over here with more books on top of it. Well, let's get rid of it all. Again, we want it clean, empty, sparse. When you go to sell your house, you should feel like, God, it doesn't really feel like my house anymore. It's a little too sparse, too open, too, too depersonalized. That's what we want. I tell my sellers, you're, if you're planning on moving, you're planning on selling your house, you're gonna have to pack all these things anyway. Let's get probably 50% of that work done before we even put it on the market. So declutter, depersonalize, make it so it feels a little sparse. Number four, buyers hate when you walk in a backyard and there's really nowhere to have a patio set or to have an entertaining area. Make it really feel special back there. It's like an extra room in your house, especially in Silicon Valley. Gosh, people, the weather's fantastic most of the year. A lot of people live outdoors. So make sure you have a nice patio, whether it's a deck, flagstone patio, something. Let's make an outdoor eating area that feels really warm and inviting. Number five, buyers hate when they walk into a house and it's carpet everywhere. Carpet in every single room. Well, maybe not the kitchen but wall-to-wall -wall carpeting just isn't in anymore. People really love hardwood floor. Engineered hardwood floors um, are really popular. They're essentially indestructible. Uh, so if you can, rip up the carpet before. Even if you don't do it in the whole house, bedrooms are fine for carpet. Some people actually prefer carpet in bedrooms, but leave that if you have that. But in your family room, let's get the carpet out at least. And sometimes people even have the original hardwood floor underneath they never even knew. Okay guys, that's five things that buyers will hate about your house. And I'm gonna do another video with the next five. So that's it for today. Again, subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Tell me what you want another video on. And if you need any help thinking about selling your house and what you should do, all my contact info is below. Uh, I look forward to meeting you in person someday. Until next time, have a great one.